Hello guys, Kalimbrist here. Hello. I have to admit that I haven't been posting on this channel for a very long time and I apologize. Some of you have been asking where I've gone to and apparently I'm still here for now. But I am moving out of Korea quite soon and getting rid of all the things that I've collected for over the nine years is well, it is still quite a hassle. Well, nonetheless, I've been kind of busy doing other things as well. Uh, I have a new channel. Um, not that I've posted much on it yet. I've also released some of my original music. Um, well, if you guys want, you can definitely check it out. Um, the links are below. As an apology for not having posted stuff for a very long time, I wanted to show you um, how I'm going to sample my kalimba. So I made a post on YouTube earlier about how I decided to really focus on making more tutorials because I feel like there are lots of good kalimba cover artists out there, but there are not many people who, you know, went through the arduous task of actually programming something to you know, graphically visualize how kalimba can be played. And um, since now I do have some sort of program, I just thought um, it might be more helpful to the kalimba community if I focused on making tutorials instead. I thought about using one of those commercial kalimba samplers but then I kind of felt like that was a little bit cheating. Well, I guess I'm still cheating in a way, but um, I just thought it would be better if I could sample my kalimba and use those sounds to provide for the tutorials. So at least it you know, has some identity as kalimba is, I suppose. Well, at least you'll know that the sounds came from this one. So I've plugged my kalimba in and uh, what I do is I open my DAW, so um, <clears throat> it's a program called Reaper, it's, it's a very nice program, it's very efficient at what it does and um, let's see, so record, line 2, so basically it lets me record the sounds into the computer. I actually have trimmed my nails, so I'm not sure if I can get a decent sound off it. So what I'll do is I'll record individual notes so that when I use it, um, I'll be using it in a sampler. So if I say um, record the C note and I play it on my keyboards later, it will replay exactly the same note. Um, yeah, that's cheating I guess, right? <laughs> so I get to play the kalimba on the keyboards. But um, I'm going to restrict all the sounds for the keys of each kalimba. So I don't, I could actually play sharps and flats if I wanted, but that wouldn't be of much use to you guys anyway, right? So I'll record the individual sounds of each tines. Oops, we don't need the metronome today. I like that, we don't need the metronome. I mean, how liberating is that? So I'll have to make sure that um, I don't introduce any noise. I'll let the notes ring out to the end. Yeah, it's not a very fun exercise, is it? Oops, I'll have to do that one again. So yeah, that's uh, sampling for you. Well, that's not very fun, is it actually? So I'll be cutting all these samples and getting the best samples of them. So once that's done, I will put them into individual tracks. Alright, well once you have them lined up like this, uh, it's 
going to be, oh, I don't know, what, what will they sound like? Hey, not bad. Uh, I guess that's the magic of the kalimba, right? You can play anything and it will sound nice. So I have to make sure that everything lines up properly. I will have to make sure the attack begins right away on the spot. So that when I use it on the sampler, there is no unnecessary um, delay being introduced. I know this is all like engineer, audio engineer kind of talk. This is probably boring. So now I've got them all lined up, it seems, at least. Well, let's see. Right, so they're pretty much lined up. Well, I guess I could make it a little bit neater. I don't know why I'm showing you guys this one. Uh, I feel like I'm trying to compensate for that cheating feeling I'm getting. You know, I'm actually making effort here. <laughs> well, the good thing is, well, when I'm making a kalimba video, when I make a cover, I have to um, I have to make sure I know each song by note, make sure I make a background music for it, and transpose it to the key for kalimba, and then practice it again on the kalimba to make sure all the notes are right. And I do have to take several takes in order to make sure I record the kalimba right and. That can be a little bit time consuming, to be honest. And if I can use these samples, I can reduce a lot of the steps involved in making the video, which means you're going to get your um, tutorials a lot faster than if I would actually play it. I know that you would um, really, really appreciate me playing covers for it too. But I feel like if I can make the tutorials, you guys can practice it and show me the videos as well. I, I like that stuff. So now it's perfectly timed. So what I'll do is I will render them, each of them into... Well, before I do that, let me just make sure they're all level. By normalizing everything. And yeah, that should be about right. And... Put a little bit of a fade in for it. Just so it doesn't introduce any noise. And I'll be rendering them. Kalimba sample. Um, wildcard track name. So I'll be rendering 15 files and voila, rendered very quickly. Let's just save this project. Uh, Kalimba sampling. Right. So what I'll do is open up contact. It's a sampler. And I will open my own con uh, Kalimba instrument. I actually do have some sounds here, like there we go. That's a happy sound. So I used to use these sounds to kind of um, monitor what I'm hearing. So I had to actually code these around and make all these pictures. It was very, very time consuming. Um, three of my most headache filled uh, days, I guess. You know, it, it, it involved actual coding, like I had to code stuff into that program. And it, it was really difficult. But anyway, so what I will do is there is something called a mapping editor wherein, wherein I can dictate what kind of sounds will be played back. So let us go back to the sample sounds of of the kalimba that we made and let's see if we can get one of those sounds in here so let us begin with c1 and put it on c3 because i'm too lazy to reach down there let's see c1 look at that so i press the keyboard and it sounds like a kalimba and 
the magic of sampler is actually you don't have to sample all the sounds individually and you can just drag this range and from C1 you can make other sounds too and make lower sounds too make bass sounds too you can even play chords on it like imagine C major 9 oh, so jazzy and I don't know <laughs> kind of weird but I want to have an authentic sound sample because I don't want to feel like cheating I actually am but well you know you get my point so D1 and I I can't imagine I have to do this individually this is so irritating but nonetheless we shall carry on so I've loaded five samples that's uh, from C to G that will be like um. Why do you have a E flat in there? Okay. Excuse me. Something's not right. <laughs> okay, so. Back to you, E1, we go to E1. Okay, so I guess you have to do it like this. Um, put it on E1. Okay, there we go. That's the way to do it. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I just found that out. Don't you close your eyes as though it's a dream. Take everything into your heart and be free. Okay. I've lined up everything. Let's hope everything sounds correctly as it should. There we go. So yeah, it's uh, now um, I just have to save it. New kalimba sample. We'll just save this one. And voila, we have an instrument. that can both play the kalimba sounds and also display the notes. There we go. So it's like, you know, so now what I can do is I can simply cover the songs quickly and transpose them to the kalimba and let you guys hear it and it sounds like my kalimba because well it, it really is sample from my kalimba there we go and so this is kind of my way of compensating for that fakeness cheating whatever <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully this will help me make more uh, kalimba tutorials in the future and uh, help me work faster. So this way I can also focus on my own music at the same time. Um, I can also work more efficiently towards providing more um, tutorials for the kalimba so that the kalimba community can grow. So I guess uh, that's a win-win for everybody, I hope. And um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, it was fun taking you guys along the journey of sampling my kalimba into making something that will me make me feel better about uh, cheating. So yeah, um, hopefully um, I'll, I'll still be busy um, trying to get through all the moving and um, getting rid of all my stuff. 
Um, I'm moving out of Korea um, early June. I will be back in uh, Korea by July, however, and I'll be staying in Korea until probably until October, until I move out finally and definitely this time. Um, mostly due to uh, both visa considerations and also like, I do have some papers and documents and all these stuff to fill out here. So anyway, um, I hope that by mid-June I can start really working on Kalimba tutorials and updates, all these you know, nice stuff for you guys. So um, hopefully I will see you soon. Um, do give me a month. Also, I'm working on a website so I can post all these um, Kalimba sheets. Um, I want to distribute them for free. Um, I want to open it for everybody so um, the Kalimba community can, community can grow as a whole. I'm kind of new to this blog thing, uh, website building thing, so it will take a little bit of time. Do be patient, but it will get there. Hopefully, I'll figure things out by mid-June and I'll start posting. I'll be able to put up all the sheets that I've created so far and the future ones as well. So um, that's bye for now. I hope you enjoyed this ride.